my name is Rebad sir in this video I'm going to talk about some of the commonly used Linux command since many of the enterprise tools are installed in Linux server you have to work on Linux server so it is important to know the commonly used uh, Linux command also it is asked in job interview hope this video will be helpful to my viewers for their work and job so I am doing this video in Ubuntu 18 LTS for the Ubuntu user they can launch the terminal by using the shortcut key Control alt T so you have to simultaneously press the keys Control alt T to launch the terminal so I have launched the terminal so for other users they can do this in windows and other users can perform or test the command that i am going to show in online linux terminal so i find the linux terminal from bella.org useful so i will give this um, link in my description and you can test your command in this terminal so let me start with the first command uh, which is uh, pwd pwd stands for present working directory sometimes you want to know in which directory your terminal you are in or you are working in to do that you have to type pwd as i did and hit enter so you see that currently i am inside home three birds uh, desktop YouTube Linux my next command is uh, ls ls is used to list uh, the directory uh, and by default uh, it will list the files you are currently working in and the syntax is uh, ls uh, option then path so if I just type ls and hit enter it is going to show me different uh, files and directory the presently and that are there in my present directory which are doc and other files are there so if you want to know additional information about the files and directory that are there then you can go for a long listing to do that you have to use the option L so LS minus L will do that so when I do LS minus L it gives the same files and directories but it gives other information like this so let me explain what these things mean but the first thing the first character here here D for the doc represents that it is a directory so for this file it is empty so that means it is an ordinary file so after that the nine character which are RWX RWX are the so they will represent the access of the files so for the first one that first directory so rwx first rwx represents the access for the user or owner of the directory or the file so in this case for doc you have uh, the access uh, read write execute so for the file let's say test.sh you have access read write and you have access read write but uh, you do not have execute access so by read access we mean that uh, you can view the co content of the file 
and uh, when you have write access uh, you can modify the file so that means uh, for the test.sh I can modify that file the next set of uh, character represents the access of the group and uh, for the file let's say the second file here the group has read find access and doesn't have uh, execute access and the next set of uh, character represents the access of others so others means any other users so in a linux server or a system you will have uh, multiple users and groups so based on that you will find the access so the next information here the two and the ones and this represents the memory block allocated to that file and after that the three words are here the next character or next field represents the username and username the file belongs to or owner of the file or folder after that the next field represents the group of the file so in this case the group of the file is uh, or folder is Srivatsa and that of the group is also Srivatsa the next field represents the memory occupied by the file or directory in byte that means for the file test.sh the size of the file is 19 byte the next field represents the last modified date of the file so the test.s is last modified on 18th April and the last modified date for this one is 1st April and the last field represents a name of the file or the directory so these are the name of the files and directory then the next thing that we can do with ls is that let's say we want to find out all the files including the hidden files in your current directory then how can you do that you can do that by using the minus a option so using the long listing and the minus a option together i can write ls minus l a and hit enter so it is going to give me all the files including the hidden files so you see that the first two entries as dot and double dot so dot represents current directory and double dot represents parent directory in unix so these are coming as uh, hidden files when we try to do ls minus la then the ls minus la by default list the file in alphabetical order from a to z so if you can see then we see first it is coming b then f then in the last so it is coming in the alphabetical order so alphabetical order of the file name if we want to short the files by the last uh, modified date then we can do that by using the minus t option so we can say my ls minus lt then you can see that it is going to list the files long list the files in the descending order of the last modified date so you see so the last modified date for the doc is the latest one so it is coming fast and upgrade which is modified um, very early is coming 
at the end so if you want to reverse the order then you can use the minus r option so ls minus ltr can achieve that so you will find the latest modified file at the bottom so together with the minus a option which uh, will include the hidden files we can do that by using ls minus l a t r so it is i'm going to give you the informations that we need similarly uh, if we want to list uh, the files uh, in a another directory then the directory presently we are working on then we can do that by saying ls minus l let's say we want to list the file inside doc and we'll say ls minus l doc so we can see that so these are the two files that are there similarly if we have list the ls minus l then upgrade then it is going to show us what are the different files that are there inside doc then the next thing in ls is that uh, uh, if we want to show the files name in a particular pattern for example if a file having uh, .x .txt as extension or is ending with .txt and we want to list those files then we can do that by using the wildcard character star so standard txt it is going to give us the files that are ending with dot txt similarly uh, we can find out the files um, starting with uh, the character f so ls minus l f star is going to give us the name of the files starting with f so this way we can perform different activities related to listing of files going ahead the next command that we are going to discuss is cd command which stands for change directory so the syntax is cd path so let's say we want to change the current directory that we are working on from to let's say doc then we can see cd doc and to a pwd you can see that now we are inside doc so when we say cd doc without a uh, slash at the forward slash at the beginning of the path then we are changing the director by using relative path but when we try to do that using a slash at the beginning of the file, beginning of the path, then we basically do that by using absolute path. For example, let's say we want to change the directory to desktop, then we can do that by using the absolute path which is uh, so this now if you see so we are inside desktop then let's say we want to change the directory that we are previously in so when we do a cd minus it is going to change back to the directory that we were previously working in this case we were working in the youtube linux uh, doc uh, which we got back to then let's say we want to go to the directory one level down that means in this case we want to go to linux then we can do that by using the double dot uh, which represents the parent directory so cd double dot and we'll get to on the linux which is one level down on uh, the dock so this is uh, all about the cd command
so the next command that we are going to work with uh, is the echo command so echo command is used when we want to display something into our terminal now let's say we want to say hello world in our terminal then we can do that by saying hello world so you can see that we are able to display hello world into our terminal next thing let's say we want to include the escape character in uh, the thing so, so we want to have a new line when we are trying to display then we can use the option echo minus e and then use uh, the slash n to get a new line so you see that we got hello world this is true then similarly let's say we want to uh, we can use a double code and single code uh, with uh, echo so there is a difference between single code and uh, double code and double code will expand any variable and that we are going to use but uh, single code uh, will not expand so it will uh, display the string as it is so let's say we have a string a equal to hello and we want to display the value of using value of a using echo then we can do that by saying so you can see that now in place of dollar a we got hello but if we do the same thing by using single code then it is not going to display it so we got dollar a so this is the difference um, between single code and double code now so you got that the, we got a lot of information in our terminal so to clear all those information we can use the command clear okay so this is um, all for this video we will talk about uh, other commands that we can use in our next video so please um, like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such video and uh, do comment bye